Hello and welcome back to the new video of the Postman tutorial series. Uh, so in our previous video, uh, we have talked about the theoretical and introductory part with the Postman and we learn how, what are the basic features of uh, that Postman, Postman offers to us. And now in this video, we will be downloading the Postman and into our Windows operating system and we will set up our Postman in and from uh, other video onwards, uh, next video onwards, we will st actually start implementing we were working on postman and using some apis and try to test some apis okay so uh, i will go into my browser and uh, click on the new tab and now i will write postman download okay and first first link comes uh, which is official from postman.com slash downloads uh, you just click on there you will be re redirected to the postman.com slash downloads and there uh, you can see uh, a button windows 64 bit and if it, it will automatically detect your uh, operating system and uh, suggest you a uh, one button if you are using a uh, apple or mac uh, device you can see a uh, mac os uh, uh, corresponding mac os download and if you are using linux then you can also see the linux button as well over there okay currently i'm using windows 11 that's why it's showing me a windows 64 bit uh, download or uh, let me click on the download button and it will start the downloads okay so the file size is 165 MB uh, depending upon your uh, internet speed it will get installed in your PC uh, I will wait for it to get installed on my system and once it get installed uh, I will just click on it and install it okay and uh, by the time if you guys are uh, liking this series and do hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and for, do comment out uh, anything that you like uh, about this series and if you have any doubt you got any errors while installation as well you can post your comments we'll try to reach it, uh, reach out to you and try to solve your errors as well Okay, so 20 seconds, 18 seconds, my Postman uh, setup will get in, uh, downloaded and after that I can install that setup, okay. I will wait for uh, 25 seconds more, let it be, okay, it's downloading, it depends upon your uh, download sp uh, internet speed, if it is good then it will download quick and if it is bad then you have to wait for some time to get it downloaded okay okay now it's downloaded i will just click on it okay once you click on it uh yeah, as you can see processing is happening in the background okay now you can see a oh, postman setup is there okay it's gone you know yes here you can see postman is running wait a minute as as it's working okay fine now it's fine let me okay fine uh, now here you can see uh, manage accounts i have already i have already my account over here uh, when you are coming for the uh, when you install for the first time you should uh, not see this uh, page you will see a sign in or a sign up page uh, where you can click uh, sign up and uh, according to that you can uh, give your credentials to them and you after that you can create your account easily uh, from there uh, and after creating an account you can just click on the view profile to check all your details of your profile and this is the uh, yeah this is my previous project uh, I will do save changes okay wait don't save let me cancel out my previous so uh, project settings i was doing the api testing for that my project okay fine now uh, after uh, signing signing up or uh, sign in you should see this page wherein uh, my workspace is there and uh, collections apis environments mock servers monitors flows and history is there and uh, we'll see uh, each features of these in our upcoming videos and one more thing uh, you can do is you can just simply go into your browser and just write uh, postman playground postman playground okay so here you can see discover apis collection by uh, julian 
Digo and Postman Playground work based on the Postman public API network. Uh, so they do have their uh, own playground where you, where you can go and uh, do the same sort of things that we you can do inside your application. As you can see, uh, the API uh, the screen is uh, or the UI is also similar. Nothing is change uh, change in this. You can do all these steps that you are doing uh, in your uh, app. You can do it also in your uh, playground as well. So you can prefer any one of this. I generally prefer uh, application, uh, so not playground because I kind of like the UI which app offers us. Okay, it's totally depend depends on you which uh, you prefer. You can use. Okay, so this is how you you can. Uh, install or set up your postman uh, in your operating system uh, whichever operating system you are using uh, so okay so in our next video we'll start uh, working on postman and we will see you there thank you for, thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one